Mercury Marauder 1969-1970 For the 1969 model year, Mercury returned the Marauder nameplate to its product line. In addition to replacing the S55, the Marauder was repackaged as a personal luxury car. Sharing the roofline of the Ford XL and Ford Galaxy 500 Sports roof, the Marauder shared its front sheet metal and its interior trim with the Mercury Marquis. The Marauder was based on the 121-inch wheelbase chassis used by full-size Ford vehicles, and the Mercury Colony Park station wagon. Similar to other 1960s vehicles with fastback roof lines, its rear window was tunneled, with large rear C-pillars. In the rear quarter panels, non-functional louvered side air intakes were added as a styling element. By the end of the 1960s, demand for high-performance full-size cars had largely disappeared. In total, Mercury would sell about 15,000 examples for 1969, and barely a third of that for 1970. In comparison to the Marauder, Mercury would sell nearly 173,000 Cougars at the same time. Within the Lincoln Mercury division, the far more expensive Continental Mark III outsold the Marauder more than 2 to 1 from 1969 to 1970. Standard versions of the Marauder were equipped with the 390 cubic inches, 6.4 liters, Ford Fay engine and a manual 3-speed transmission. The Marauder Rex 100 was only equipped with a 360 horsepower, 268 kilowatts, 365 PS 429 cubic inches, 7.0 liters, engine with a 3-speed FMX automatic as an option. The only transmission available with the 429 was the 3-speed Ford C6 automatic. 